Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Grade 11 students. Welcome to the first episode featuring Earth and Life Science, Week One, entitled Earth as a Unique Planet. I am your teacher, Siti Farhana Diampuan of RPMD National Science High School, Marawi City Division. Are you ready to learn? Let's start! After going through this lesson, you are expected to recognize the uniqueness of the Earth being the only planet in the solar system with properties necessary to support life. Specifically, you will be able to first name the unique properties of the Earth that enables it to support life, second, compare Earth to the other planets in the solar system, and third, recognize the impact of human activities to our planet. Before we head on to our lesson, let us try to answer a pre-test. Don't worry, this is just to check how far have you gone in our lesson today. Here is the instruction. Read each item carefully, choose the letter of the best answer, and write it in your notebook. Do not leave any item unanswered. And you are given 5 seconds for every item to answer. Are you ready? Let's begin! Question number 1. Why is Earth called the living planet? A. It sustains life. B. It has atmosphere. C. It has water at the surface. And D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter D. All of the above. Question number 2. Which of the following contributes to Earth's ability to sustain life? A. The Earth is just at the right distance from the Sun. B. The Earth's core creates a strong and stable magnetic field. C. The Earth has a precisely tuned amount of water. And D. All of this. Correct answer is letter D, all of this. Question number three. Which is supported and sustained by planet? A, life. B, a moon. C, a rocky core. And D, an atmosphere. The correct answer is letter A, life. Question number 4. Below are the unique properties of the Earth except A. Strong magnetic field B. Scarce amount of liquid water C. Presence of the moon and D. Located in the Goldilocks zone The correct answer is letter B. Scarce amount of liquid water Question number 5. How does the core help in sustaining life on our planet? A. It creates a magnetic field that protects living things from cosmic rays. B. It regulates the temperature inside the Earth. C. It facilitates the formation of magma. And D. It supplies the people with enough iron to fight common diseases. The correct answer is letter A, it creates magnetic field that protects living things from cosmic rays. Have you got a perfect score? Good job! Keep up the good work! That ends our pretest in this lesson. Welcome once again on our subject, Earth and Life Science, entitled Earth as a unique planet. Our Earth is the only place in the universe that can support life. 
it is a modest-sized planet that orbits an average-sized star, the Sun. Life on Earth is abundant. Some type of life is found in every niche on the Earth. Even in the extremely cold Antarctica, hardy microscopic beings exist in ponds. Tiny wingless insects live in patches of moss and lichen, and even two types of plants flower yearly. From the top of the atmosphere to the bottom of the oceans, from the coldest part of the poles to the warmest part of the equator, life persists here. But what makes Earth different from other planets? What properties does it possess to make life possible on this planet? There are six things that make life on Earth possible. First, our location is far from many hazards. The solar system sits far from the galactic core, almost 30,000 light years between two major spiral arms. More so, the solar system's circular orbit helps it to avoid that dangerous part of the galaxy. The galactic core likely contains a massive black hole and releases consistent bursts of radiation. Also, there are relatively few stars near the Sun, reducing risk to Earth from gravitational tugs, gamma rays burst, or collapsing stars called supernova. The presence of our big brother planet Jupiter farther out in the solar system blocking Earth from much of the incoming debris has also helped Earth become a safe heaven for life. Jupiter acts like a giant boom, sweeping the solar system of debris rocks as small as cars and as huge as moons that could snuff out life in one fatal blow. Second, our sun is a stable and long-lasting star. Our sun is a yellow dwarf, a relatively rare type of star that is both small and stable. It also has a long life and probably would not start to fizzle out for another 5 billion years or so. The sun radiates light and heat or solar energy, which makes it possible for life to exist on Earth. The sun provides the Earth with energy estimated at over 239 trillion horsepower, about 35,000 horsepower for each current resident. Plants need sunlight to grow. Animals, including humans, need plants for food and the oxygen they produce. Without heat from the sun, Earth would freeze and there would be no winds, ocean currents or clouds or to transport water. Third, we are at just the right distance from the sun. Earth is an, at an average distance of 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers away from the sun. It orbits in the so-called Goldilocks zone, where the planet receives enough energy to allow water to exist as a liquid on its surface. Too far, and the vital compound stays locked up as ice, too close, and the water would rapidly evaporate into the atmosphere. The Earth is the only planet with huge bodies of water. 70% of its surface area consists of oceans, lakes, and seas surrounding huge bodies of land. Water is unique because it absorbs large amounts of heat without much alteration in its temperature. Its absorption speed is extremely rapid, about 10 times as fast as steel. During the day, the seas rapidly soak up a great deal of heat, thus the earth stays fairly cool. At night, the ocean releases the vast amount of heat that they soaked up during the day, which combined with atmospheric effects keeps the surface from getting too cold at night. If it were not for the tremendous amount of water on Earth, there would be far greater day and night temperature variations. Many parts of the surface would be hot enough to boil water in the day and the same part would be cold enough to freeze water at night. Water is an excellent temperature stabilizer the large oceans on Earth are a vital part of our survival. Fourth, 
we have the right staff to host a dynamic core. The interstellar cloud of gas and dust gave rise to Earth contained enough radioactive elements such as potassium, uranium, and thorium to power a churning core of billions of years. This creates a magnetic field which is crucial to life on our planet because it protects the planet from dangers like solar flares and solar wind. Other than this, it also keeps the planet's atmosphere in place and helps humans and animals to find their way around. Fifth, we have a big moon to stabilize our eggshell wobble. The Earth has a slight tilt and teeters like a top as it spins, which, in, which can cause drastic shifts in climate over the course of thousands of years. But because of the moon stabilizing effect on our orbit, our climate is a lot steadier. Plus, the moon causes the tides, so if the moon were much near the Earth, say 20 times closer, it would exert a gravitational force 400 times greater than what we are used to. It would result to huge tides which would overflow onto the lowlands, causing great flooding. Sixth, we have an ozone layer to block harmful rain. Ozone layer or ozone gas in the atmosphere that protects everything on the earth from harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Without the layer of ozone in the atmosphere, it would be very difficult for anything to survive on the surface. Plants cannot live and grow in heavy ultraviolet radiation, nor can the plankton that serve as a food for most of the ocean life. The ozone layer acts as a shield to absorb the UV rays and keep them from doing damage at the Earth's surface. The mixture of gases found in the atmosphere without a man's pollution is perfect for life. Nitrogen accounts for 78% of the atmosphere, oxygen 21%, and argon 0.9%. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane are trace gases that account for about a tenth of 1% of the atmosphere. These gases drop the sun's heat to keep the planet warm. If it were much different, life would cease to exist on Earth. If our atmosphere were thinner, many of the millions of meteors which now are burned up would reach the Earth's surface, causing death, destruction, and fires everywhere. We are now down to the last part of this video. Please get your pen and paper because we are going to have our post-test for this lesson. The instruction is just to choose and write the letter of the best answer in your paper. Again, you are only given 5 seconds to answer every item. Are you ready? Let's start! Question number one. Planet Earth is considered uniquely different from any other planets in the solar system. Which among the given choices correctly answers the statement? A. Earth is the only planet that changes structure. B. Earth is the only planet that turns around its face. C. Earth is the only planet that is mostly covered with water. And D. Earth is the only planet that is mostly made from rocks. The correct answer is... Letter C. Earth is the only planet that is mostly covered with water. Question number 2. Which of the following contributes to Earth's ability to sustain life? A. The Earth is just at the right distance from the Sun. B. The Earth's core creates a strong and stable magnetic field. C. The Earth has a precisely tuned amount of water. And D. All of this. 
The correct answer is letter D, all of this. Question number three. The following are the factors that make a planet habitable, except A. Temperature B. Water C. Atmosphere D. None of the above The correct answer is letter D. None of the above Question number 4 Below are the unique properties of the Earth except A. Strong magnetic field B. Scarce amount of liquid water C. Presence of the moon and D. Located in the Goldilocks zone The correct answer is letter B. Scarce amount of liquid water Question number 5. These are the things that would happen if the Earth's cool core cools down, except A. The atmosphere will disappear B. There will be more volcanic eruptions and earthquakes C. The Earth will be vulnerable to incoming solar and cosmic radiations And D. The plates on the surface will no longer move Answer is letter B. There will be more volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Have you answered all the items correctly? If so, great job! Yay! And congratulations for finishing the first lesson in Earth and Life Science. That's it for today's video lesson. I hope you had fun while learning the subject Earth and Life Science. Once again, I am your teacher, Siti Farhana Diyampuan, saying, No child shall be left behind. Mabuhay ang kabataang bangsamoro.